Okay guys, this video is about the laughing statues of Vancouver who are simply laughing at the uh, band dwellers from hell, which we'll get to at the end of the video. So first off, we take a look at the uh, laughing statues. They're, I don't know, quite high, like 12, 15 feet high. Maybe not 12 feet high, maybe 10 feet high or so, a little bit in between there. Uh, all the expressions on their faces are the same. It's just their posture is different. Uh, the, the, knee, the hands on the knees or the hands up. Uh, on the sides of the face or curled up or but they they look like they're bronze but I don't think they are because the uh, bronze is coming off I guess people rub on them and then the uh, under coating or the coating on, on top comes off and it just shows like a, a silver plating underneath there's a little girl she's just intrigued by the height of these things and uh, can't believe it <laughs> I don't know what the significance was behind this. I haven't read why why this is all here, but it's right at the beach, downtown Vancouver on Davy Street. And uh, you can see by the, the people that are walking around them, the uh, scale that they are. And everybody poses with the, with the pose of the, of the statue. And they're called the laughing uh, statues of Davy Street, downtown Vancouver. I'm trying to get the little girl to pose like, like that, but she doesn't understand. <laughs> There's a lady playing the guitar, uh, singing songs. And in the background, you can see uh, the uh, palm trees they have here. That's a variety of palm trees that I guess can stand the winters. Uh, pretty cool. They're like really fuzzy. Fuzzy bark. And there's the beach in the background, the inlet. And a couple of still shots of me in the pose. And now, one of my dream cars. I'm going to go in and uh, buy one of these as soon as we're finished the video here. <laughs> so, uh, the thing is, can anybody tell me what kind of vehicle this is? See if you can uh, guess or read it on the hood. I'll zoom in at the... Uh, at the back there just to show you what it is and from uh, what it looks like is the uh, spoiler on the back uh, you can I guess push a button and it moves up and down to uh, give you better better action nice black color love it a McLaren what do you know there's a detailed spoiler action there. It's a McLaren. Look at that. I'll have to go in and get one right away. Now we're going to go have a look at another vehicle I'm just going to walk right in and purchase. Uh, I'm on a street, downtown Vancouver, of uh, high-end vehicles all up and down the street here. And this one is a Lamborghini. I love the way the uh, the hood, or the hood, I, I love the way the uh, top folds up like that. It's nice that it's convertible, I can see right inside. First time I've ever seen one on the inside, that close. I really didn't want to touch it too much because uh, it might have a burglar alarms on it somewhere. 
there's a green one in the background there. Lamborghini Vancouver. One windshield wiper, just like the uh, uh, McLaren. One windshield wiper. Let's have a look at the green one. It's inside the uh, dealership. The reflection in the background, you can see the McLaren uh, dealership. Hey, crocuses, they've been up for a couple of weeks already. And here's the van dwellers from hell. The streets like uh, Walmart, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Lowe's, all up and down the streets, they're parked bumper to bumper to bumper. Class C motorhomes, and they don't move. They stay there all the time, months on end. Unlike my group, which moves every single day. These guys are stupid, man, they're horrendous. Look at that. And what they leave is their garbage. Toilets, everything. 